is empty, the tote board dark, the stretch without a drive for the wire, and here in the winner's circle, there's no winner. The 1983 Ohio racing season is now history. 399 dates raced at three tracks are in the books. It was a racing year like many others, happy winners, sad losers, but there was also excitement. Most of it came in the Ohio Racing Fund a series of stake races for two-year-olds, three-year-olds, and handicapped division horses. The members of the Ohio Thoroughbred Breeders and Owners don't want these champions forgotten. This is a salute to them, to the horses who ran in the stakes, to the horses who won the stakes, to the horses who pushed the winners to hit the wire first. Here is to the winners. And they're off. And the first away from between horses that is Snow Lover as they come on to the main track with rolling all over right there in second position. Ten shares is racing third on the outside fourth. The season opened on an upsetting note. It was April 2nd, 1982's juvenile champion rolling on over took on six foes in Thistledown's $26,300 Cardinal Stakes. He handled all the Colts but not the lone filly. They go into the far turn. Snow Lover with a length on, rolling on over, still pursuing in second position. It is four lanes back to beat the spread racing. Third now, down along the rail, 10 shares is fourth. Now as they approach the quarter pole, down along the inside, it's still Snow Lover. But rolling on over appears to have dead aim on the leader now as they turn for home and they set down. Approaching the furlong grounds. On the outside, it is rolling on over and still tenaciously contesting the issue is Snow Lover. Snow Lover still with the lead. Here they come, 40 yards left to go. Snow Lover draws away. A week later, during the last meeting ever to be staged under the banner of the Beulah Park Jockey Club, there was more upsetting news. Salahis, Ohio's champion handicap horse of 1981, was heavily favored in the $26,975 decathlon handicap. He couldn't overcome 132 pounds, a muddy track, and the rallying duo of Big Mav and Western Series. They come to the top of the stretch a quarter of a mile ago. Tantalizing Todd and Salahis. Sila Hayes now comes on to take the lead a half length. Tantalizing title on the inside. Followed by Western Series and Big Mav. Coming to the 16th pole. Sila Hayes, Western Series and Big Mav. Three of them across the track, all going for the lead. Again at Beulah Park on April 16th, Ohio's leading fillies and mares stepped out for the first time in 1983. It was all clone princess in the $26,300 Diana Handicap. Coming up on the outside, cloned princess. Along the inside, Caney Baby. Through the stretch, coming to the 16th pole. Cloned princess comes out to take the lead. High Gale is second. Deep stretch, cloned princess in front. Rolling on over, smarting from his upset in Thistledown's Cardinal Stakes, got even in a big way at Beulah on the 23rd. He toyed with six foes in the $26,000 junior handicap. Three-eighths of a mile ago as they move on the turn. Freedom Ride's lead is only a half length. Rolling on over on the outside. Freedom Ride and rolling on over head and head for the lead. They've got a quarter of a mile ago at the top of the stretch. Rolling on over comes on to take the lead two and a half lengths. Freedom Ride is second, followed by Hot Dog Casserole and Ohioan. Coming to the eighth pole. It's rolling on over by four lengths. Freedom Ride second, followed by Ohioan and Hot Dog Casserole. Deep stretch. 
rolling on over. In front! The next afternoon at Thistledown, an old champion went to the post in the $26,495 Summit Silver Cup, and he let everybody know he'd be a factor in Ohio's handicap division. Midway on the turn now, and it's Katina's fortune on the outside. Bill Monroe takes over the lead as they approach the 316th pole. In the stretch now, and it's still Bill Monroe on the lead with some three lengths on Katina's fortune in second position. Approaching the 16th pole, it's still Bill Monroe with lots of daylight. Bill Monroe with lots of authority is showing the way. Bill Monroe. The last stake of the month was at Beulah, and while Freedom Ride crossed the wire first in the $26,475 Permanetta Handicap, it was a victory that would not stand. The speedy daughter of three martinis interfered with Ultrajet, and her number came down. It's Freedom Ride by a length, Ultrajet challenging on the outside, deep stretch. Freedom Ride on top, Ultrajet on the outside. Freedom Ride is in front. The month of May. Goodbye, Beulah. Hello, River Downs, and welcome turf racing. First up was the grassy $27,310 Mill Creek Stakes, and an old timer gave his younger foes a running lesson. It was the nine year old fantastic sport rallying into the winner's circle. They have an eighth of a mile to run. In between horses, Fantastic Sport is coming on. The leader is Booze Challenge with Fantastic Sport gaining ground with every stride. Second quarter's into third. That's Fantastic Sport moving by and taking a short lead. Booze Challenge still game in second. Second quarter is third. That's Fantastic Sport in front. The next afternoon in $26,500 Shaker Heights handicap at Thistledown, a rivalry was born. It pitted Monsoor Champlain and rolling on over in the first of a series of battles. Round one, it went to Monsoor Champlain. And now closing boldly, Monsieur Champlain on the left hand of whipping. Here they come now. Monsieur Champlain takes the lead in late stretch. Monsieur Champlain now is in full command. High Gale may have been second best to clone Princess in Beulah's Diana handicap. But in the rain River Downs, she was all alone in the $27,000 Vivacious Handicap. They're into the home stretch, and my Madeline has the lead by ahead. High Gale on the inside, second on the outside. Warriors Relic drops back third. Gaining ground in between horses, EJ's Pride, and also coming on is All Dark Star. They have a 16th of a mile to run. The leader is High Gale. My Madeline second. All Dark Star third on the outside is Just Be Speedy. That's High Gale pulling away. Lovers of stretch rallies got their money's worth a week later on the river. Red and Fiery was last at the half mile pole in the 10 horse tomboy stakes field when she uncorked this furious stretch drive. Up for long to the finish in the leader is Snow Lover. On the far outside, Red and Fiery's picking up ground in a hurry. Snow Lover has the lead. Red and Fiery on the outside is coming on. A horse is down. That is Snow Lover with Red and Fiery. Red and Fiery gets up. And finally in May, the invading Pandan was a racing secretary's lightweight, in at a feathery 111 pounds. But he proved a heavyweight in Thistledown's $37,425 Western Reserve handicap. And moving resolutely from the outside, Pandan with second quarter. Marty J is racing in the third position down along the rail, but Pandan is clear. Pandan shows the way. 